hi family welcome back to my channel my name is selena zinchak if you are new here welcome my channel is about diy natural hair and beauty if that's something that interests you come on and join the family in today's video we are going to be looking at an all natural butter that we can use on our hair and skin as the winter months a year our skin become very dry, ashy, and break also our hair. So this all natural butter can help to solve those problems for you. Our first ingredient we will be starting with today is raw shea. Our first and main ingredients in this recipe today is raw shea butter. This butter is my company brand. We order it directly from West Africa Garner. Just in case if you are interested in it, I will leave the website down below. Raw shea butter have high concentrations of fatty acids and vitamins, which make shea butter an ideal cosmetics ingredient for softening skin and hair. Shea butter also has anti-inflammatory and healing properties. Using shea butter on your body and your hair can condition turn and soften your skin and hair never expose your butter or your oils to direct heat i am using the double border meter in this video so i just transfer my butter into a beaker bowl and then you can fill your pot up with water, set your butter over it, and then you can go and set that on the stove. Okay, so I'm just going to set this on the stove on low heat for my butter to melt into liquid, and then I will be back for us to move to the next step. Sunflower oil has emollient properties that help the skin retain its moisture. It is a great source of vitamin E, rich in nutrients and antioxidants. Safe flower oil prevents dryness, roughness, and acne on your skin. It promotes elasticity and reduces the appearance of wrinkles. Thanks to the vitamin E, sweet almond oil keeps your skin cells healthy protects your skin from UV radiation damage and helps your skin look smooth, soft and free of fine. There are essential fatty acids that castor oil contains help in restoring the skin's natural moisture balance. A lot of people have problems with coconut oil. If you are one of them, then just leave coconut oil out of this recipe. My head and skin love coconut oil, so that is why I am using it. Research shows that sweet orange oil increases the ability to absorb vitamin C, collagen production, and blood flow, all of which are essential for anti- My next essential oil will be lavender and also rosemary oil. Okay, so our shea butter have now melted into oil foam. We are now just going to add in our other ingredients. I'm adding in one fourth cup of safe flour oil, one fourth cup of sun flour oil, one fourth cup of sweet almond oil, and one fourth cup of castor oil. We also add in our coconut oil. One teaspoon of rosemary oil and one teaspoon of lavender essential oil. I added in 15 drops of our sweet orange oil. Just give that a good stir. 
and then we are going to cover this up with a cling wrap and put it in the freezer for 30 to 45 minutes okay so i took it out after 45 minutes as you can see our oil have solidified so i'm just going to use my hand mixer to whip it up into butter I'm very happy with the consistency I got. See how creamy and lovely that looks. I pray you do give this a try, you will really enjoy it. You don't have to do this, I'm just making it look pretty by putting it into the plastic bag and transfer it into my container. I'm going to store it in because I need to take a thumbnail picture for you guys. So all the ingredients that were used in this butter, those are ingredients that can also be used on your hair. So you can also use this butter on your hair and skin. If you love this video, can you please give me a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.